Just get your work done. You'll pass, but here it's a lot different. The teacher's there. <laughs> So I think we're going to have to uh, stop now.
Set, you want to close it? Yeah, but I'm going to speak first. Okay, so we'll do one more, uh, and it'll be sad at the end. So guys, so a couple things. So one of the themes that I heard a lot today was that oftentimes the, the person being bullied was also a bully. And, um, and I think we, we heard that, that loud and clear. And so, remember what I said about acceptance and being, allowing people to make mistakes and allowing them to own up to their mistakes and to change. That's ultimately what allows all of us to move forward. Because none of us is perfect, none of us will ever be perfect. And what's most important is for us to be reflective and to think about the things that we do that might be harmful or hurtful to people and to try better tomorrow. If we can do that, then this will be a fantastic place. The other thing that I want to say is that community is difficult to maintain. And I want to tell you a quick little story about my family. Because the family is kind of the ultimate community. And so, so often families, and extended families in particular, you hear stories about, oh, you know, uh, Thanksgiving is the, is the worst holiday of the year, or Christmas is the worst holiday of the year because of all the family dynamics and the battles that happen. And part of the problem with small communities, and we really are a small community here, is that we seem to have higher expectations of those of us in the community. And we also have filters that perhaps don't filter as much because we think, oh, they know me. They know who I really am. I don't have to say please before I say that. Because they know that, of course, I mean please. And so we tend to be a little bit shorter with our families. And it takes work to make sure that those things don't happen. And so I've had a couple of conversations with, uh, with students here over the last couple of days. In my family, I've got, my family's not perfect. I've got children who yell at each other and say horrible, mean things to each other. But what I try to do is I try to make sure that that doesn't fester. And so in my family, I do, we have something called sibling circle, which we don't actually have to do very often anymore. And it's intentionally awkward. So we sit in a circle and we hold hands. And I make them look at each other. And usually just that, them looking at each other and feeling awkward and smiling, usually that diffuses the situation. But what I tell them, I say, you wouldn't say what you just said. And my daughter tells my son, I hate you, I'm going to kill you. You wouldn't say that. To the person that you hate the most, dislike, I, hate, I don't like the word hate, the person that you dislike the most, you would not say that. So why would you say it to your own brother? Why would you say it to your own sister? And I want you guys to think about that here in this community. We do know each other really well. And so because we know each other well, maybe we are going to say things that are a little bit stronger than we intend them to be. And as long as we all recognize that, then we won't have problems. And as long as we all recognize that and work to resolve issues and to talk out issues, then we're not going to have problems. So we're going to have one last one. And then uh, we're going to break, we're going to go to fourth grade. Tomorrow, we're going to have another flex day schedule. Tomorrow, we're going to have another flex day schedule. We're going to have uh, ASB, um, people running for ASB office are going to be giving their uh, their speeches. That'll just take a couple moments. Hey guys, wonderful, please. That'll just take a couple moments. And then we're going to break into advisory and we'll actually work on creating that covenant. Okay? Okay. So please be patient for one last story. Okay.
guys, so uh, this is, well, basically, you're still considered the greatest thing the last, uh, that we said in the bully, because basically you want to say that I actually never have been bullied before, probably. Not to brag or anything, it's just we're kind of lucky there. Like, there were still people who were not nice at times, but even then they could be still. But, yeah. It's easy here. But there were still doubts that I had a lot. Like, a lot of times, uh, like, it seemed like everyone else knew what to say a lot of times. Like, every, like whenever someone asked me something, they already had a question and answer to it. And, yeah. But a lot of times, it's just sort of so they're saying, yeah, got nothing, sorry. But, yeah. But, and while that still is kind of the case here, I'm at set here, it's actually a lot better because a lot of people here are ones that I actually want to talk to at times, too. Even if, again, still do have time for don't know what to say, but still. It's a lot better because I haven't seen any of people who are not nice at all yet, and that's a great thing too. And yeah, same similar to the classes too. Like back then, this, in other schools, like had classes that had work that just um, wasn't interested in doing and stuff like that. But and but there were occasionally classes that did have fun things to do. Well, um, a lot of classes here seem to do that too. So uh, and yeah, most of the classes too, computer science. So yeah, this is not really a bullying thing, more just a praise for set, and yeah, set is really doing a really good job at the school here, so yeah, great job for that, and yeah, again, don't know what else to say, so that's it, yay!